Hey there everyone, welcome back to my channel and yes as you can see in this video I'm reacting to the news received last week that Georgia have internally selected Nutsa Guzaladze for them to represent them at Eurovision 2024. So in this video I'm going to read up a little bit about her on her Eurovision.tv bio to find out a little bit about her and I'm also going to listen to two previously um, examples of her previously released music to get a bit of a taste for what she could potentially send and yeah give you my opinions on them and let you know how, I'm, how excited I am to see her at Eurovision so before we get into all of that I hope you do enjoy this video and if you do, please click the like button as that really helps with the algorithm. What also really helps a lot is if you want to, please feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you can be informed on all future video releases from myself. You're more than welcome to follow me on Instagram if you want to. Details can be seen on screen in the description box below at the beginning and end of this video. And up there I post my bunch of Eurovision stuff and upload the schedules and all that. So please feel free to do that too. There will be timestamps down below if you want to jump ahead to a certain point of the video. And also please do feel free to comment down below. Let me know what you think about the news that Georgia will be set represented by Nutsa. Are you from Georgia? I'll be very particularly keen to hear your thoughts. But without further ado, let's begin. Okay, so first up, I've got the Eurovision.tv article up here. So I'm just going to read through it and get a little bit of a taste for, for Nutsa. It is quite a short article, um, but we can see that it's saying she'll be representing Georgia in Malmo. International Song Stress from Tbilisi has participated in and won many different song contests over her career, which I have read about, um, including a top 12 finish at American Idol in 2023, where she performed a duet with Kylie McMinogue on her classic track, Can't Get You Out of My Head. I did actually know that already, and I have already seen that performance so I won't be reacting to that it was quite some time ago I actually saw that performance um, but yeah I did know that she uh, well I didn't recognize it by name but then when I read and I saw they mentioned American Idol and Kylie was like oh yeah I, I know what you're talking about there in recent years she's lived in both Los Angeles and Dubai and but calls Georgia home in 2019 she released her debut album and she covers not only Georgian songs, but compositions in English. But it was Jella Debe, maybe, which became a breakthrough it leading to her tour, a country with a live band. And she describes herself as a self-motivated, active, energetic girl with a real art worker and workaholic simply loves what she's doing. So all that sounds very good. It's a very short article. It doesn't give us a lot of information about her. I will be reacting to Jello Debe first. But the other song I'll be reacting to is that... And I'm surprised it's not mentioned here in the article. But she did attempt to represent Georgia in 2017. And I'll be reacting to that song. It's called White Horses Run, I think. And when I actually saw on a recap video... Uh, that she had taken part before and as soon as I saw the name I was like oh I remember um, that name of the song because it's quite an eye-catching name and I did actually watch that national final that um, Tamara we were saying keep the faith eventually won um, so it'd be very good to watch that again for the first time in what will be seven years so yeah those are gonna be the two songs I'm going to be checking out and let's begin okay so we've got Jello Debe up first which was from 2019 if I remember correctly Nice piano y start there. Very elegant. Especially what's going on here with the music video. Very beautiful vocals there, very soft. It's got a very kind of Disney timeless feel, this song does. Yeah. 
Yeah, this has got a very kind of Disney princess vibe going on. Very pretty. I don't know whether her music style has advanced or changed in the years since then. Um, I wouldn't probably expect something something like this to be what she chooses to go to Eurovision with. Because this is very kind of elegant and nice, but it wouldn't be something that would stand out at Eurovision in 2024, of course. It's very beautiful, but it wouldn't really be my style of ballad. It has got that kind of very old school flavour to it. But it's very pretty and she does have a really beautiful voice. So if she does go for a ballad for 2024, for this year, you know, I think it could be a potential for something to be really good if it's something that's sort of a bit more modern in its style. I do think this song would sound really, really good with like an orchestra. I think like the orchestration in this is really strong. Like if this was like a 90s Eurovision with a, the live orchestra, this would really be really impactful. taking away from this is a very impressive focus so hopefully what she does ever she does with whether it's a ballad whether it's something up tempo hopefully it's a song where she's able to show off her vocal talents So quickly moving on now to song two, White Horses Run, which was an attempt to represent Georgia in the 2017 Eurovision. This is the national final performance. And like I said, I did watch this national final back in 2017. And as soon as I saw the name of the song, I was like, oh, I remember that song name. But I don't really remember anything about the song. I'm just going to maybe turn it up a little bit. Very strong focus. My memories of this are coming back a little bit here at the beginning. Okay, so this one's got a bit more of a Contemporary for the time five, it's kind of a bit of an R&B ballad. And with this one, of course, as this was actually specifically made for Eurovision in 2017, it's a little bit e more comparable, perhaps, to what we might kind of expect from her this year rather than the other song. Oh, 
I think what I do remember from this song is it wasn't amongst my favourites of 2017, I don't think. She has good vocals, but yeah, I think I remember thinking that the rest of the package of the song perhaps wasn't really to my taste. The song does seem to rely a lot on her vocals, um, mostly. So there we go. That was just my reactions to those two songs. Um, overall, the songs, neither of them were particularly to my personal taste. But what I did take away from them were that she had very strong vocals in both of them. So I'm hoping whatever she chooses to go with for Eurovision this year, we'll be able to show that off as well. It'll be very interesting to see whether she goes with a ballad or whether a uh, kind of musical direction has moved more towards the up-tempo stuff in those recent years and if you know more about that please do let me know down in the comments uh, because you know whilst it was good to see the ballads and I think she would be able to have the focus to pull it off you know maybe an up-tempo song from something like that might work better for her who knows um, but yeah of course it will all depend obviously on what she goes with for Eurovision I don't think we've got a date yet for when this is going to be refilled but very eagerly awaiting it Georgia have been missing from the final since 2016 I think they were all quite unlucky not to make it last year uh, I thought they did have a chance of making it last year of course it wasn't to be so it would be amazing to see Georgia back in the final again for this year because obviously it's not good if a country to be missing out year after year, you know. We don't want that. We'd, I'd love to see them back in the final. Um, but yeah, please do let me know your thoughts on Nutsa being the representat representative for Georgia. I'm very keen to hear what you all think. And yeah, once again, as I said at the beginning of the video, if you did like this, please hit the like button. Please feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Please feel free to follow me on Instagram as well. And yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please do take care. And until the next video, goodbye.